How's everybody doing today? <clears throat> Loving you guys today, man. I, did, I already did like, I think three videos today with you guys. I love hanging out with you guys. This, this lets you know. I love spending time with you guys. For real. And, um, you know, I just wanted to uh, tell you guys that I really do care about you guys and things of that nature. So I wanted to uh, talk to you about that new Springfield gun that came out. I'm just going to... I'm sorry about that. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that new Springfield gun that came out. <clears throat> and uh, all the hype on it. I'm not trying to disrespect Springfield as a company or whatnot, but if it was that much of a big difference that they bring to the market, I mean, don't get me wrong. I give credit to Springfield. You want to know why? Because they do, they do things, they do things uh, for a reasonable price. For people to afford decent pistols, but they're not they're not the first ones that came out. You know, I'm gonna show you right now what I'm talking about when I when I talk about this. And this is this is it right here. Okay, we're gonna talk about this safety first. You know, we're gonna go with um that so before i get into the video you know i'm like i said i'm not trying to disrespect um springfield armory but this was the one to me and i'm, I'm talking about sig too i'm not talking about springfield because to me this is the first one that came out with the chassis system and what i mean by the chassis system I'm gonna show you real quick. So you bring this leather down, which I, I I'm saying like Springfield. They I'm not saying that that they you know like that their guns are whack and things like that. Of course you gotta pull the trigger on this one. Springfield has one that's advanced that you don't have to pull the trigger no more. But um, as far as the chassis system. As you guys can see here, this right here, and by the way, this trigger is better than Glock, to be honest with you. Glock's trigger out the box. So, you see this chassis system? I don't know if you guys can see that. This one, you could take this whole chassis out. I don't know how to do it. I'm trying to figure out how I can do it. I would have to figure out if I could go to somebody. But you could take this whole chassis out and the frame and put another frame on it. A smaller frame, a bigger frame, a little more frame. But this is a full size. So you could go medium and small. So they weren't the first ones to do that. And the, another good feature about this pistol that a lot of people don't know is... You could change the back straps, of course, that which is nice. It has three different three different back straps, and also a lot of people don't know about this is uh, both lefties and righties for the mag release. It's a freaking flea! I don't know how the hell they get in here. So that chassis system i know sig does it with theirs and I, I think this is the first one that i noticed that does it which is the masada which is uh iwi they used to be i m i w m and another thing and you know this is a um 17 rounds you know, and like I said, you could change out this frame and put another frame on it. So, 
what we're gonna do here. Sorry, I don't know how that happened. So, sorry about that. Yeah, because we gotta we gotta play good with. There's nothing in the chamber, so I did, I, I had to put it back to regular. So, nothing in the chamber. And by the way, this is an old old U.S. U.S. optic that uh, I had bought when they came out, which is decent. You know, I think it was like $150. It's a decent optic. You ain't gonna break the bank for it. It was on sale. Uh, but if I would've chose before, I would've never bought this optic, but it is what it is. It's a decent optic for what it is and um you know it is what it is but to be real with you give me a second guys i hold on i hate to do this hello i'm at the house i'm doing a video can um can i call you back or what's up all right yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. So, sorry about that. I had to pick up. That was at a very important phone call. Landlord and shit business. You know what I mean? So, in the end of the day, you know what I mean? This is a very good option. Masada. Like I said, IWI. And the reason why I bring up this gun... Is because everybody say, oh, we're the innovators, we're the innovators. You could do this with that gun too. The only thing is, and and this trigger is really nice. It's really nice. And let's do that right now. Let's do that right now since we're on the video. And I got a couple of more minutes before I meet my landlord, which is my dad. I'm going to do the trigger pull right now. Okay. I brought it home. I'm going to see how that... Nice trigger is. So we're gonna do that trigger pull real quick. Nice and crisp. That's a reset. Yeah. Nice. So this this gun to be honest with you i really liked it it caught my eye and it does the same thing that uh springfield is doing now it has that four penny tiki rail for your optics and then it has all the plates that you need right here and the magazines for these are really inexpensive they're like probably like twenty dollars twenty five dollars if you find them and then of course i'm not sponsored by them but we do need sponsors like i said treasure con if you're looking at this we need you any optic company if you want me to promote your optics let me know like i'm not getting paid for old uh u.s optics but this i did pay this for with my hard-earned money and these, these hold up pretty good the the uh, the Red Dot holds up pretty good. Don't get me wrong. It's a really decent company. So, as you guys can see, it comes with the RMR, the Delta Point, the Venom, the Romeo. You know what I mean? It really comes with the plates. So, I mean, Springfield is innovating because, you know, they... They doing a lot of things, but to be honest with you, um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but it's not going to be the end all, you know, let's see what, let's see what all the hype's about because I haven't had my hands on them and I'm going to, I'm planning on to this Saturday because I'm going to try to see if I can hit that competition and, and get the gun for free. That's my goal. With that being said, guys, 
just showing you what it is, you know. IWI Masada. You could change out this frame, the bottom, because this is the, the serialized, I think the serialized is the, um. I don't even think the frame is serialized. Nope. Yes, it is. My bad. Yeah, the, the frame is serialized. I, I, I take that back. But supposedly, supposedly that this is the gun, the gun itself, which is the the stuff that the, the thing that I showed you. That's the gun. That's the whole gun. And this you could change out whenever you want, but I don't know how that works. So that's the video. This is that video, guys. Like and subscribe. If you like anything else, you want to know anything else, let me know. This is the IWI Masada. Peace. I'm out.